again today and every day on Scope, science is everywhere, including up there in space. Many celestial bodies produce radiation, so astronomers use radio telescopes to see them. Unlike an ordinary telescope that receives visible light, radio telescopes like this one use a large dish with an antenna to receive radio waves. Now we're on the topic of radio astronomy, let's check out some tech that's helping in this quest to learn more about the universe. When you look up at the night sky, it's hard not to think about what's out there. And now, with the help of our new technology, we're making the search for answers a lot easier. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm here at the International Astronautical Congress, and today I'm going to introduce you to this game-changing instrument. It's called a phased array feed, or PATH, and it's a specialised camera, or receiver, which forms an important part of a radio telescope. It's used to receive, amplify and process radio waves from space that provide scientists with clues about the universe. In the past, similar technology could only see a small part of the sky at once, which made surveying the whole sky a time-consuming process. But this instrument is blowing that old technology out of the water. It creates a field of view many times greater than a traditional telescope and can massively increase survey speeds. This allows us to view a large part of the sky all at once, so we can survey the entire sky quickly and repeatedly. This means that astronomy projects that would normally take 10 years to complete can be finished in just a few months. So, how does it work exactly? Well, each phased array feed is made up of 188 individual receivers, which are positioned in a specific arrangement. Next to the receivers are low noise amplifiers, which help to enhance the weak radio wave signals that the telescope receives. These components are housed in a watertight case, mounted at the focal point above each of the telescope's antennas. Together with specialised digital systems, the phased array feeds create separate, simultaneous beams to give a wide-angle view of the sky. The resulting images can then be assembled into detailed maps that help scientists understand the structure of the entire universe. That means it could help us discover millions of new galaxies. This instrument is currently being used on the Australian SKA Pathfinder Telescope in Western Australia. So, thanks to this astro-tech, we're about to discover a whole lot more about the universe.